why Tinubu may not be inaugurated on May 29th. Sam Imade dropped shocking details that shocked Nigerians. My people, this is getting out of hand. Too. Hmm. You guys can now see the reason why APC members are really, you know, fighting, shouting, talking about those who are planning for interim government, those who do not want uh, the president elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu to be inaugurated on May 29th. <laughs> that heaven will fall from hurt and all that. There are so many things that are not correct. You understand? You see this life, eh? if you do something, when you not do them in the right way, you did get problem last, last. That is why it's good. Whenever you are doing something, make sure that you are sure of what you are doing, that you are in the right path. It's very, very, you know, important. So that tomorrow, when somebody is challenging you, you will know what to say. That is it. I we will come out and tell you that the election was not rigged and all that. Do they actually fulfill the promise they made to Nigerians? He went against the electoral art in 2022. So you see, there are so many things that are wrong that we even make one not to say, oh, I beg. Be like, say, this thing not they right. Nigerians saw how that election went. That election that was conducted by, you know, INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, is nothing to tell him about. This is not just about Bola Metinubu. You understand? This is not about Bola Metinubu. You know, when people will say, eh, Bola Metinubu rigged the election, how did he rig the election? How did he rig the election? INEC chairman should... Tell Nigerians what happened. I believe in one thing. If you are giving me food in my mouth and I refuse to open my mouth, how would the food pass through? I just gave example. People are saying, I make a Bola Metinubu rig the election. Even though say Bola Metinubu, you know, rig the election through I make chairman. But somebody did that. Must you go that far? As a professor, I wonder how he go to bed to sleep peaceful with all these controversies here and there. All is not right. That election is nothing to tell him about. The truth is that INEC and APC did not get grant to say no, this election was not rigged because of things, so many things that went wrong. You understand? They not forget the mouth to defend themselves, even why. Right now, they are defending themselves. They know that all did not go down well, well you know, uh, with Nigerians during that election. Well, let's quickly hit the news and get all the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The director of the... Abuja School of Social and Political Thought, Sam Imade, has cleared up the confusion regarding his previous statement about the status of President-elect Bola Tinubu. He emphasized that the title President-elect is not an official position and that Tinubu's inauguration could be stopped before May 29th due to an ongoing tribunal case. Imade originally made this statement on Twitter, which led to missed interpretations. He further clarified the situation in a series of tweets, stating that it is not guaranteed that Tinubu will form the next government. In his tweet, Imade explained that the judiciary has the power to revise the declaration of the president-elect and there is no constitutional duty to inaugurate on May 29th if the declaration is legally changed. He wrote, Official Bart is president-elect, but is not yet president. 2. It is not automatic that he will form the next government. He has a serious case in the tribunal that can go either way. 
Three, the tribunal can stop the inauguration before the 29th. He's talking about May 29th. Like I always say, corruption in language leads to corruption in statecraft, just as the law gave. I neck Nigeria power to make a declaration. It gives the judiciary the power to reverse it. There is no constitutional duty to inaugurate on May 29th if a declaration is legally challenged as here. There is no faith comply about the situation. Some use of language can create a false narrative where we believe that a, declar a declaration by INEC uh, Nigeria, no matter how wrong, constitutes a new government. No, it does not until the final court says so. So guys, record that yesterday, Barrister Loy Jumako, lawyer to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Nnamdekano, has said that it is all constitutional to swear in the president-elect Bola Tinubu when the election petition tribunal has not given final verdict on his victory. Ejimako is the latest notable voice to make such demand, adding that there was nowhere in the law provided that a winner whose victory is being contested by the opposition and whose victory has not been affirmed by the court must be sworn in. The IPOP leader's lawyer, who said this on Thursday, ahead of May 29th, scheduled for Tinubu's inauguration, argued that the final list of election results is decided by the court, except where the result declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is uncontested. He insisted that no part of the Nigerian law makes such a provision and therefore it is all constitutional to swear in such a winner. Given that the finality of election result is decided by the court, except where the INEC declared result is all, con all contested, it's all constitutional to swear in a winner whose victory has not been affirmed by the court. Where is the law that says such a winner must be sworn in? None, he said. So guys, you can see that Nigerians are really bringing out facts concerning uh, the president-elect Tunubu, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, I beg your pardon, Bola Ahmed Tunubu inauguration. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you for this coming out here. Bye for now.